Welcome to St. Mary's, Pennsylvania, a community rich with Bavarian traditions and where Dutch and Crusader pride runs strong. These are the stories of your friends and neighbors. This is our town, St. Mary's. I'm John Lossney, and I'm Director of Marketing and Communication for the Area Transportation Authority, a six county rural transit authority. We're here to talk about the St. Mary's Transit Center, which we've developed in the past two years uh, to serve the community and, and surrounding communities. Rural transportation was embodied in ATA as far back as 1976. And at the time, the decision was made that we could better coordinate public transit and uh, support transit for the social agencies better by a regional effort. And it became the first uh, rural transit authority of its kind in the United States. And the large cities, by and large, you have what they're called fixed routes. But in rural transit, uh, what made ATA unique is the creation of routes that didn't necessarily follow the fixed route formula. So we could go to a, a home or a location and pick people up. We have paratransit services, which were designed to take care of people who need specialized transportation to get to health care. St. Mary's is uh, the hub for a number of our fixed route services, including the Ridgeway Express, the Johnsonburg Express, the Emporium Express. We sound like a big city now, don't we? Uh, but we're, we're a small rural community. It's all connected together uh, as people go about going to work. Commuter routes intersect here. Passengers change buses on their way to work in the morning and on their way home at night. But we haven't really had a home where our passengers could uh, change buses, you know, in comfort. And a place where we could develop further the, the transit option for local people. So now with the new transit center, people are able to change buses out of the weather and off the street, uh, which is a great benefit uh, to our passengers and to the future passengers who'll ride with us for the next 100 years. Think about what this center is. The day of the ribbon cutting was a very special day. The center had been already operating, but we chose this day to uh, recognize the effort by the borough council and the municipal leaders, by the county commissioners, by the planning agencies, the support of the Federal Transit Agency. And I think uh, there's a lot to admire in what has happened in St. Mary's in the past uh, few decades, and, and I think only good things are ahead for them. I can say that as someone who doesn't live here, but someone who has admired what's been happening here for a number of years.